Roger, first of all, welcome once again to Colombia and Thank once you. again to W Radio. It's a pleasure yeah, to have you. I appreciate it. I'm very happy to be here myself. Uh, I saw you yesterday in Argentina and you were having a lot of fun. I mm -hmm. mean, and you got Maradona say hi, said hi to you. Mm -hmm. You were with Batistuta, uh, Riquelme. Mm -hmm. How was that? How has the tour been so far? Tour has been great fun. Uh, it's been uh, busy, you know. We arrived in Buenos Aires, flew to Santiago, Chile, came back to Buenos Aires, and uh, then we flew here. And all that in the span of uh, three and a half, four days. But uh, the people could have not been more nicer, more louder, more crazy in a good way. Um, very welcoming to me, my team, Sasha and everybody. And I think the matches have actually been a lot of fun, have been good. They've been all been sold out, uh, like here as well, apparently tomorrow night. Um, and they have been very different to the traditional tennis crowd, you know, uh, more football feel, which has been a lot of fun for me, actually. Uh, Roger, the last year, uh, Alexander won the ATP finals. Mm -hmm. This year, Tsitsipas won the ATP finals. Yeah. Do you think that maybe next year is going to be the breaking point <coughs> for the next gen? They are going to be able to win the uh, first Grand Slam? Yeah, possible. Um, I mean, look, we've been talking like this for the last three years, and I think Sasha also mentioned it. Uh, as close as they were, the group wasn't huge yet, you know? So I think now the group is bigger, they're better. I think they closed the gap, um, but it, there is no guarantee. And Everybody's talking about Grand Slams, but it's not all about the Grand Slams, okay. to be quite honest. I okay. mean, the world, winning a World Tour Finals is an incredible achievement, in my opinion. Winning a Masters 1000 is an incredible achievement. And it doesn't always have to be about the Slams, but some journalists only make it about the Slam. But I wouldn't be surprised if it will happen next year. About that, um, and you are, you are uh, getting a, a really interesting point, and it's win the gold medal in singles in mm. the Olympics. Maybe this could be or that could be your, your one of your targets next year or it will yeah. be uh, Wimbledon no yeah it's together um, it's yeah, a bit really close. yeah they're very close all together French Open Wimbledon Olympic Games US Open that's uh, going to be a huge summer I think for me that's going to be the summer is going to be the priority um, getting any medal for Switzerland would be amazing um, Australian Open obviously is big for me um, so uh, I'm excited for next year I think uh, if I keep playing at the level that I played this year and can take my chances a little bit better, maybe uh, something really good could happen. Um, but Olympic gold is not like the number one okay. goal or Wimbledon. It's, I think it's, it's, it's the package. I would like to defend my titles from last year, of course, and I won four, which was a good season. So uh, hopefully I can keep going and stay healthy. Uh, Roger, you know, when uh, this tour was announced and uh, speaking to some people, you know, they say like, yeah, it's okay, but they sort of, I mean, it's it's uh, playing just for fun. They, it's like seeing them train. How much effort really do you put into these games? I mean, do you talk to Sasha and say like, okay, uh, the loser pays lunch or something like that? <laughs> I actually, am, no, I, I never, um, how do you say, bet like yeah. this. I don't like it. I don't know what it is. It could be, I don't know. We, we play hard, we play fair, and uh, we want to have a good time and we want to interact with the, um, uh, the crowd. I think that's for me really important to actually show them how much I appreciate them coming out and um, you know paying mon paying a big money for to come watch us play. They could be doing something else, you know, on a Friday night, but they choose to be with us that night, and we're going to put on a good show. But we're going to play good tennis because I feel like that's what people want to see. They don't want to see me being a clown. Speaking of that, about the interaction uh, tomorrow, you're going to be with kids, and you do a great mm. job with your foundation. Uh, you do things in South Africa as well, but. How important is it to interact with kids? I mean, these kids see you and it's like really watching yeah. their idol. How, uh, how important is that? Very important. Of course, my foundation is uh, incredibly close to my heart and uh, I will do so much more in the future. Kids clinics, I don't always get a chance to play tennis with the kids, to be honest, because usually um, tournaments and uh, people want me to do more um, press things like an interview or a photo shoot or anything like that. But for me personally, I love doing kids clinics, you know, and seeing the talent in the country. We did kids clinic in Buenos Aires and Santiago already. Tomorrow, Bogota, I can then uh, start comparing who is more talented. Is it you guys or not? <laughs> but uh, no, I'm excited and we'll have a lot of fun and uh, uh, hopefully we in can inspire them and motivate them. You know, Roger, that'd be great. And, and finally, uh, looking backwards and over time, maybe mm, the most important win of your career was that um, Roland Garros against um, Soderling because it allowed you to close the circle of the Grand Slam? Mm, I think no, because uh, if I don't win my first Wimbledon, okay. mm -hmm. maybe this will... There is no closing the no, circle no, so ever. No Th there is no circle starting the circle. Okay. So I think for me, winning my first Wimbledon um, 
It was such a dream come true. It was like beyond 2003? anything. 2003 against Mark Filipusis. And uh, it made me believe I can almost beat anybody and win any tournament after that. And I think a player sometimes needs a big title to feel that way. Like Zverev like Zvere won the World Tour Finals and Tsitsipas this year. I think these are a milestone moment in somebody's career. Um, so I would put my first Wimbledon over almost any, oh, okay. any match. Yes. Thank you so much. And it's been a pleasure. enjoy your country. Thank you, I will. Please come again, just, just to visit. Yes, okay? absolutely.